Hello, um, this is a quick video to show people uh, the the calling fan of the laptop N5110. This is the calling, this is your fan, this bit here is your radiator, obviously it goes out and cools it down. Um, the problem is, this one controls your CPU, the temperature on your CPU. And as you can see, it's nice quality. You've got little spring loaded connections to make good. So, this copper bit makes good contact with your CPU to transfer the heat. There's multiple Dell laptops that has got this design of heatsink, basically. That's why it's so well designed. Now, with the Dell N5110 if we if you choose the graphics chip option you will get an additional well I call very crap extremely crap uh, add-on which is meant to help keep the graphics card cool it's this bit here this this bit of flimsy metal that is crap um, as you can see if I show you the screws they're just standard screws bolted on by a tiny bit of plastic they're so bendable it just can't add nothing to it um, no pressure whatsoever um, this is what the problem is this is this overheating on most of the laptops not your CPU now obviously if you haven't got a graphics chip then it is your CPU but everyone who knows that they've got a graphics chip this is your problem it's a cheap bit of metal that's just been bolted on so they can sell more graphics chips with their laptops to make it seem like oh yeah we mates the best no you've let Dell has let gamers down who's bought their R5110 and I hope they've learned their lesson um, basically to try and put some pressure on I've done this simple little mod which is just a bit of rubber on top uh, basically to try and put a little bit of pressure on top of the copper pipe um, I don't know if it'll work but I've got nothing to lose with temperatures of 90 plus so you know obviously this this has all been covered in by me to try and to try and stop the the heat from the the heat from staying inside the laptop uh, the resi residual heat I do believe they call it um, basically um, I will be trying it and hopefully it works um, I'll put this video up to show people why their laptops are messing up with screen problems and god knows what else is this one overheating the system it just cannot deal with playing games and eventually it will have big impacts impact on just simple in just simple using your laptop because the overheating slowly destroys the laptop so if you have got heat problems and you think it's getting too hot chances are yeah you need to do something about it or your laptop will end up giving up one day um, but this is just this is from a Dell N5110 uh, is a heatsink cooling fan you know eh, the fans fine the heatsink is good size which is, which is good but it's just this flimsy graphics plate that is just not up to the job of calling a graphics card which runs hotter when playing games than a CPU so Dell I don't know who come up this this is just money saving it wasn't designed it was just a quick money saving exercise oh let's do this it's bang it it's a very poor design uh, obviously the CPU one because they've put this on multiple models of the same laptop it is well designed it is you know you can tell it is well designed it does the job to call the CPU good
but it's the um it's the graphics chip that's the problem uh like i said i hope this helps and you know you know i'm not saying do it but if you feel confident that you can do it then go ahead i will be posting temperatures uh if you know if if i think it's worth it um there you go